We are tracking the tropics tonight. What was Tropical Depression 7 became Tropical Storm Gonzalo today. But that's not all we're watching. The radar has been busy today thanks to tropical moisture that brought downpours to much of South Florida. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer, who is tracking it all. Craig. Another day, another day of rain, right? The radar pretty active this afternoon. Lots of showers and thunderstorms out there. We're going to see more storms this evening and again tomorrow before the rain chances finally go down. Let's take in a quick radar tour in Broward. Showers moving out of northern Broward right now, but some heavier activity coming up out of Miami-Dade right along I-95 there towards Hallandale Beach and Hollywood as well as Miramar. Big storms right now moving across northeast Dade. Some lightning and thunder with that. Other rain extending back to the southwest. Moving through Sweetwater, coming out of Kendale Lakes there in Kendall, and other heavy rain now moving back into Biscayne Bay and South Miami Dade. So we're going to be a wet evening off and on. The key is a little bit of a break today, but still some showers and thunderstorms out there. All of that moisture that we're still seeing, it's because of this tropical wave now becoming a tropical disturbance that passed by. We are still stuck on the dirty side of it. Folks now in Texas are watching this closely because it's likely to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm as it moves to the coast there uh, later in the the next few days. In terms of Gonzalo, this was, as we mentioned, Tropical Depression 7, now Tropical Storm Gonzalo. Still a very, very small tropical storm there, forecast to strengthen some. Winds now at 50 miles an hour, moving to the west at 14. There's the future track forecast to become a hurricane and then begin a weakening trend that Saturday afternoon in the islands. Continued weakening forecast into Monday in the Central Caribbean. Why the weakening and what are the potential impacts for us? We'll talk about that coming up.